I have in here? No. <clears throat> What's up, Sparks? Welcome to Spartan TV. We got so much to share with you. But let us start with this announcement for the homecoming dance. You're gonna need this. Why? For homecoming on October 7th. I smell roses. I smell roses. I smell roses. I smell roses. What's the theme? City of Roses, obviously. someone out of the school that you want to bring, the guest passes will be in front of the activities office. And you can buy the tickets during both lunches starting now. Hola Spartanos! Um, entonces, Homecoming va a ser el 7 de octubre. Uh, a la puerta va a ser 15 dólares con ESB, 18 sin ESB y 20 a la puerta. Si quieres traer a alguien de otra escuela, los pases para invitados están disponibles fuera de la sala de actividades a partir de ahora. That seems pretty lit. You know what else is really lit? All the ways you can get involved at Hill High. Let's hear from them. Hey Spartans, today we're going to be interviewing some people from the Asian Pacific Cultural Club and seeing what they do and just get to know some of the members more. How long have you both been in APCC for? I've been in APCC for about two and a half years. I've been an active APCC member since my freshman year, but my first term as vice president will begin soon. What are some favorite things about your club? Thing, our favorite things about APCC is definitely um, the club members. I love I love seeing everyone interact with each other, participating in the hard work we put into your club. I just like seeing everyone smiling. What does your club do around Hill High or for Hill High? So we create an inclusion within the Asian Pacific Islander culture, and we also spread awareness about a community that gets overlooked. What would you both say to students who are looking to join your club or just thinking about it? My main one is you don't have to be a part of the API community to join our club. It's open and it's really accepting for everyone. Our club is a great way to get a little break from school, um, to hang out with friends and also learn about the API community. Uh, we do a lot of fun activities like food making, arts and crafts and games. So I highly suggest you to join our club. And we do lots of field trips to a conference in Portland. We go to the Japanese garden, and even sometimes we get Korean barbecue. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here and doing the interview. Thank you. robots. Um, we are a competitive club, so we, we build robots and we take them to tournaments. We, we program, we, we use our laser cutter, 3D printer, we use all kinds of tools and power tools, so it's, it's, it's a lot. Um, yeah, we meet on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. We are already meeting because we started this week, but we would like new members. So anybody could join at any time. So on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, if you came to the engineering lab and just poke your head in and say, hey, I want to learn more, um, we meet until 6 o'clock. Or you can take the activity bus at 5. Um, you have to leave a little sooner. But, but yeah, just walk in. No experience necessary. Uh, robotics is a lot about coding, and I was really interested in coding, and I wanted to learn how to code, so. My two older cousins were in robotics. They did it for a long time. They pursued careers related to robotics, and I just really thought it was fun. So I decided to join with them. 
Uh, I like to build stuff and I like technology and robotics is a perfect combination of both. Just, just the team like we have here and just you you can really mess around and do a lot while still being on task and focus. Finding new challenges but sometimes I can also be like oh I don't do it. But then when you actually like overcome the challenge I'm like oh hey that's the building part and getting to see how if you change certain things the outcome will change too and seeing the failure too. I think people should join robotics because it's it's a really fun time. Because it's really a new learning experience overall for it. a completely new subject or a subject that you're already studying and getting more advanced. Because it's fun, you get to hang out with people and there's snacks. I'm sure you know this person. Pretty big actor, right? Did you know that they started their acting career yeah, in yeah. high school? This person was in high school theater too. Yeah. So was this guy. This person here too did, and I'm gonna <laughs> triumph them. Start today. Auditions, at the end, auditions for at the, the play. End, no. Guys, auditions for the play are today, after school. Guys, we're gonna be so famous. Ooh. Theater auditions oh, no. is Monday, September I swear, if 8th. This is Eighteen. September 18th. 18th. And you know what else is there? Right after school, DM2. You know what else Antigone. is there? Antigone. 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 It's a Greek tragedy. You know, you know what else is on Monday? National Hamburger Day. At hamburger Wendy's, Day! Yeah, at Wendy's, you can get. You will um, get a hamburger show if you audition. Show your dedication to hamburgers no, by not, auditioning for this. Play. I will no, get you a getting... hamburger if you audition. No, we won't. Nuh uh. It's, Antigone it's a is a Greek, Greek tragedy. You see, law, right? Can't do that. No, no, I'm no. Soft. And you may think Greek tragedy, bunch of old yucky language. Nuh uh. Because there is no rights to these shows, we can change it however we want. We can literally do whatever we want. We can guys. literally. Antigone. No September 18th. 18th. And you know what else is there? Right after school, DM2. Good morning, everybody. My name is Yaroslav, and I'm with the studio production team. These people who I'm interviewing today are part of the FFA. Hi, I'm Dagony. I'm a new member of FFA. Hi, I'm Kamara. I'm the FFA's reporter. And the first question that I'm going to be asking you guys is, what is FFA? Okay, so FFA is a worldwide national organization. People might know it as Future Farmers of America, but in 1987, they actually switched it from that to just the National FFA Organization. Um, it's kind of a community for agriculturalists, agriculturalists. Um, we go to events, we do lots of fun things. What's your guys' favorite part? My favorite part is probably voting on upcoming events, uh, fundraisers, stuff like that. Probably the events, because like I said before, we do lots of fun events. We have different CDs and LDs. Now, would you recommend us to I absolutely would recommend that type of thing. Um, we bring animals to school. Uh, I'm actually bringing my horse to school next week. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I would definitely recommend FFA. We do lots of fun things. We're like a huge family. Um, we bring animals to school. We're not all animal stuff, but definitely a lot of animals. Now, what kind of animal will you bring? A cow? A <laughs> I don't have one, so I don't have a cow. Would you recommend it? Absolutely. So much fun. I've only been to one meeting and I'm already loving it. We got some pretty cool sports at Hill High. Let's hear about some of them. Hi Sparks, I'm with here with Mr. Miyama. How do you think the game went? Uh, it went very well. Um, the first half was one of the best first halves I've seen um, any team play. Congratulations on the win against South Thank Avenue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey Sparks, I'm with, I'm with Natasha Fryman after the varsity, girls' varsity game. Natasha, how do you think the game went? I think it went pretty well. I mean, 5-0, it's a great score, honestly. It's been great to be undefeated this season. Honestly, not much else to say about it. Like, got another hat trick on the team. What's it like to be the varsity captain of an undefeated team? It feels amazing, honestly. Like, it, it, I couldn't ask for a better senior year. Do you have any other future goals for this team? We gotta beat Century. We gotta beat Century this Monday. Mm -hmm. Be there to support us at that Century. 
uh, 7 p.m. this Monday. Um, that spots, this is all for tonight. We're signing off. Support the Varsity Girls on Monday. I'm here with Gregory Wallace. We got a couple questions for you, Greg. First one's gonna be, what position do you play? Um, I play left tackle and middle linebacker, outside linebacker, a little bit of DM. All right, so how do you think tonight's performance went? I think we performed very well. Um, we, we were coming off a tough tough loss last week, and we knew that we had to perform if we wanted to win. We knew we could dominate them up front, and I think that's what we did tonight. We we're just looking at the scoreboard, 47 to 20. So what do you think helped your team prepare for this week, and what do you think's gonna happen next week? I think a good week of practice, um, Everybody buying in, and um, I think we were just all around had a had a positive attitude towards this week coming into this game. That was Gregory Wallace. <laughs>